evening. And welcome to Richmond Middle School for the sixth grade band's first performance. My name is Miss Molly Shack, and I am the instrumental music teacher here at Richmond Community Schools. Um, these guys are really excited, so I'm going to open up that curtain. You guys can take pictures. I do ask that you don't um, take flash photography, as it can be distracting to the uh, performers on stage. Um, I'm going to take you on a musical journey of where we were in September and to where we are now. And let me tell you, the, uh, the growth is just amazing to see where they were from the beginning to now. Um, if you didn't grab a program, they're on these music stands on this side, and this will kind of guide you through the process that we take every day in class learning music. So you guys can grab yourself a program and follow along. Uh, we're playing a lot of short little pieces out of the book and then one longer one at the end. There's also going to be some, uh, some groups that are playing. They learn some music. And I was just telling them that it was very stressful last week when I was sitting on my couch and I was worried about this concert today. <laughs> um, but let me tell you how every student on the stage has brought it and they all came together as a team to learn or to refine their music very quickly in three days. And we have these students who learn these little group uh, songs uh, very quickly and that's just a testament to their dedication. Uh, you in continuing to encourage them and all that great stuff that's happening in the classroom. So without further ado, here is the sixth grade band and their first uh, performance tonight entitled Informants 2023. All right, we're going to get started. So back in September, when all these students uh, arrived in band class, you know, September 5th or whatever day it was, and I said, how many people have any sort of instrumental experience or, uh, you know, experience reading music? Um, a lot of people said no. So I asked them, like, how many people knew nothing about band specifically when they showed up on day one? Okay? And a lot of hands went up. A lot of them played recorders, and, you know, last year and everything like that. So we get these instruments, and you got to learn how to put them together properly. And then we got to learn how to make what we call our band face. It's called an embouchure. So we had to form our muscles in ways that never have been, why would you do this ever, okay? So, um, and they had to figure all this out, sit up properly, and we got to make our first sound with air. And, okay, and this is what it sounded like in September. Ready and Play. <laughs> now, as a, as a band director, I love that sound. It is the, uh, the, the first sound for the rest of their life. But again, uh, you need to follow the program. So we had to work on a lot of things to refine it because we can't listen to things that aren't like pleasing to the ear. So you have to do some things with your mouth and the way you blow air and how you sit up and where you put your hand position to make the tone happen. And so we worked on that for a couple of days and it got better. Okay, we also had to separate our, our notes with our tongue and you know the timing and the drumsticks and all that stuff. So it got a little bit better the second time. <coughs> So the what are the note names? 
And every instrument you're going to hear has a different letter that they're yelling out. You're going to hear a, a B flat over here and a C over there. And it's really confusing at first, right? But they get better at it and we get used to it. And it's, it goes like this. So this is, again, the music learning process. You get a new piece of music for the first time. And this is the slow process that we went through every day. So this is their note name example. Here we go. Note name. And one, two, ready, go. Okay, so now we're layering, we're scaffolding, we're adding these layers of, uh, of information. And then if you look at the program, number four, we have to do all the above, but we actually take away the answers on the page. So they're not reading the counts, they're not reading the note names, but they're reading what I call big kid music. This is number 10 is the same music that the Detroit Symphony Orchestra would look at if they were going to read the same exercise. So they're reading uh, real music at this point in, in their musical career. So they're going to do that same song, but on their instruments. Duet on this side. 
Uh, Josh and Kennedy are going to play Ode to Joy. <laughs>
Mozart, and here they are with the Mozart melody, otherwise known as uh, the alphabet song, or Ba Ba Black Sheep, or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs>
playing Sweater Weather. Uh, this is Grace and Giovanna.
only Donald had a band, and instead of a cow and a boo bear and all that stuff, um, we have trumpets and percussion and woodwind. So again, total part independence. This is another pivotal moment um, in learning music and listening to each other and responding and being musically independent. So this is only Donald had a band. and she has a job right now, but she still came back because she wanted to spend one more night with these guys and conduct. Um, she actually did a whole lot of teaching in the fall. You might have actually heard from her via email um, and parent-teacher conferences yeah. and things like that. So we'd like to welcome back to the podium, Ms. Tepper.
stand up so maybe if you can't see your son or daughter right now, you will. So everybody sit up on the straight. Five, five, four, three, two, one, two. Okay, let's have the back row stand up. Yeah, back row! Woo!